Hello out there subscribers and friends, this is Surviving 2 coming at you with another video. Hello out there in YouTube land. Hey, I've got another video for you. I'm sitting here making some Maya dust out of my fat wood. Now as you see, I've taken and kind of whittled it down and got, I don't know if you can see this, I'm hoping I can get the camera to focus on that. See how the end is almost transparent? See how it shines a lot? Well, that's all the resin that's down there in that piece of wood. So, I can do it a number of ways. I take, sometimes I'll take a file, a rasp, and I'll rasp it down, but it tends to clog the rasp up and I have to take a big wire brush to it ever so often clean it out. Now you can also take and use a knife and just shave off small pieces. That's what I do is just little bitty pieces. And then I'll take and kind of get a hold of them and then just scrunch them between my fingers and just kind of pulverize them a little bit. Just get it all just Pour up and then there's another way of doing it that uh, I've used and that's a little oh, get it in frame there a little pencil sharpener now this one so old I broke one of the once one of the edges and cracked the other one and so I got to be real careful with it and hold it real tight together when I take and stick I just hold it in there Still too fat on the back end of it. Well, I'll go ahead and get it whittled down a little bit to where I can get it in there and I'll come back to you. All right. I've got it whittled down to a little finer point. Now, let's see if I can get it in there. I gotta hold it tight so I don't crack it anymore. And then I just start twisting it like I do a pencil. And eventually, it starts, as you can see, I hope you can see that, it starts shaving it off. I just keep going with it until it finally stops. Makes a nice little point on it. Then I'll take it and dump it. Like I say, I'll just sit here and just kind of scrunch it up. Squeeze it between my fingers. And just kind of pulverize it a little more and that's how I do my Maya dust now I'm fixing to sit here and do a couple more a couple more vials oops get them in frame a couple more vials of them I use uh, old film canisters about the only place I found that you can get uh, film canisters at anymore is uh, I'd get them at Walgreens. They have them uh, behind the counter. You ask the people back there, and they'll just hand them to you. You know, ask for old 35 millimeter film canisters, and they'll give them to you. Uh, Walmart, I found they say they recycle them, or at least mine does, and they don't have any, and they never want to give you any. Now, I don't know. Maybe it's just people being lazy. <laughs> no telling. Anyway. Well, I'm kind of back at you. I got my Maya dust made. And you can see I got it kind of packed full. And what I ended up doing with my sticks is cutting them down a little bit so they would fit into the pencil sharpener a little better. Make them more the size of uh, a pencil. You can see I whittled that one down pretty good. Okay, now I've got some here in this bowl that I've got left over. I'm going to take a little bit of jute that I've got shaved up here and put it on top of it. And get that all over there. And let's see what we can make happen here. And 
and as you see it fires up pretty good and it'll stay burning for quite some time that jute that I had in there it's just regular regular line as you can see and how I make it and fray it I don't know how everybody else does it I've never seen anybody show it I just take the end of it here let me make sure I'm just take my knife and I start stripping like that eventually I start getting a bigger bigger piece I try not to cut it I just try and run the knife along the edge of the jute so that, that way it kind of shaves it into smaller pieces and as you see it kind of collects on the knife and there's that. There's another way I can do it. I take it and put it under my finger this way. And I just pull. And it shaves it. And I just shave little pieces at a time. Now, I, like I say, I try not to hold it so tight that I'm cutting the jute. But that I'm fraying it as I strip the knife along it. And then, as you can see, I get pretty good little pieces. You can take and fray that up. And that's how I make my little jute bundles. All right. Enough. We'll catch you all later. Later. Now, a lot of you might know what Maya Dust does and how it works. Some don't. So I'm going to strangle a damn weed eater. Spot. <laughs> Spot's back here digging in my back. Wanting me to pet him. Hey knucklehead. I'm trying to do something and you're killing me. <laughs> Spot. That's my damn leg you're trying to climb up. Damn, cat. I know you want attention. All right, you guys. This is going to be a blooper. <laughs> Let's try again. Spot. Every time I go to do something, you try and climb my leg. I don't know which is worse. Here. Here's your chair. Get over here and sit in your chair. Come on. Over here. Come on, come on, come on, I know you can jump that far, there you go, you lay down there, damn, so instead of me heating up my bowl there a lot, I'm going to go ahead and try and put it out, and hell, I don't know what I'm going to put it out with, <laughs> I want to thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more in the future that I put out, just subscribe. Until then, later.